questions about what being a bold Christian looks like in 2016. And, and I presented it from a man's perspective, and then last week Patricia Goddard presented it from a woman's perspective. Um, this week I've invited a young lady to present it from a young person's perspective. I've, I've had the pleasure of knowing this young lady for about four years since I moved here. Um, I have to say that she comes from a very, very bold family, and she, she proudly carries on the tradition of being bold. She is who she is. I know her through the school system. I know that she never kowtows to peer pressure, that she is the person that her parents have raised her to be, that she is a young lady of Christ. And so without further ado, I am pleased to present to you Miss Vanessa Sandoval. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I'm a little short here. Hold on. <laughs> Generations are changing. Today, being bold is way different than it was ba than back then. Being bold used to be not doing drugs or alcohol or partying, and it was standing up against things like that. Now, for some young adults, it's smoking marijuana because it's cool for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. For some young, young male adults, it is having a really big truck, or maybe for some young females, it is bold to dye their hair multiple colors, Valerie. <clears throat> yes, these things may be bold to them, but are they being bold for themselves or are they being bold for Christ? Today, I'm going to give you five main points for being and becoming a bold Christian. The first point, can you change the slide? The next one. Okay, thank you. The first point is to have respect. Now, this can be a challenge for some young adult Christians and just young adults in general. I am assuming most people have heard the term, respect your elders. Now, if we look up at the picture, we see a rapper. And before I go any further, some people may like this rapper, whatever, I'm not trying to offend anyone. This rapper's name is Eminem, and he is a role model for many young adults in this generation. Now, this quote says, I don't care if you are black, white, straight, bisexual, gay, lesbian, short, tall, fat, or skinny. If you're nice to me, I will be nice to you. Simple as that. He's saying that if you respect me, I will respect you. Now, as a teenager, I will admit that I believe I know everything. I am ignorant and I have an attitude. <laughs> That's, that quote on that screen, it's wrong. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 17, it says, Show proper respect to everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear God. Honor the emperor. Also, one of the Ten Commandments is respect your father and mother. Now, if your parents are being nice, doesn't mean you do not respect them anymore. How does having respect make you a bold Christian as a young adult? Having respect as a young adult is one of the qualities that you need to aspire to help you become a bold teenage Christian. Now my second point, having a strong faith. Most Christians in the room today may have struggled with their faith before. I'm not going to lie, I have struggled with my faith countless times. As young adults, having troubles in your life may cause you to doubt your faith. For example, peer pressure can result in the doubt of faith. It may make you feel insecure or, th or think maybe this whole God thing is ridiculous. Wrong, again. As I said before, I have had personal experiences with this. For example, one time I was in advisory and I had to do this career plan. And as some of you may know, I want to be pastor when I get older. I had to use a special website to find my career and surprisingly it wasn't on there. Basically, the rest of the story goes like this. I asked my teacher what to do since I could not find my career. And she asked me what I wanted to be. In the middle of the room, I said, I want to be a pastor. I swear, as soon as I said that, the room fell dead silent and a tumbleweed rolled across the floor. <laughs> right then and there, I doubted for a split second. Now, how does having a strong faith make you a bold teenage Christian? Having a strong faith will make you a bold adult Christian because it will help you through the struggles of becoming and being a bold Christian. The third point that I believe every bold teenage Christian should reach for is forgiveness. 
Forgiveness is very, very important to help a young adult in being a bold Christian. Why is that? As a teenager, forgiving can be one of the most difficult things we have to do. As I told you before, we are ignorant and we are still learning about Christ, as the adults are. I personally still have troubles with forgiving people. A big part of being or becoming a bold young adult Christian is being able to truly forgive someone. Forgiveness is a quality that is needed in being a bold teenage Christian or being a bold Christian in general. As it says in Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 through 15, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your father will not forgive your sins. Forgiving will help make you become a bold young adult Christian. Being forgiveful is bold. Now praying, part of being a bold Christian is praying. This is also another thing that I have struggled with as being a teenager. I always thought there was a specific way to pray because I've never been good at praying. Eventually, I talked to Pastor Mark about my issues with this. He kind of laughed and said, I didn't know there was a right way to pray. I didn't either. Then he continued, to, then he continued on to tell me, as long as you're worshiping God, you'll be fine. That being said, bold Christians need to pray. And that means out of church too. Praying with your family, friends, or a stranger that may need help, that may need help will help you on your path of becoming a bold teenage Christian. If you play sports, pray before your game or your meet. Help yourself by boldly praying when becoming, being or becoming a bold Christian. When I say boldly praying, I mean to not be afraid to pray to our Father whenever you feel you need to. My last point, and the most important thing in becoming or being a bold young adult Christian is being a good role model for other Christians, young and old, and of course, spreading God's word. Be a good role model for other people, even if they're not a believer. In Titus, it says, in everything, set them example by doing what is good. In your teaching, show integrity, seriousness, and soundness of speech that cannot be condemned so that those who oppose you may be ashamed because they have nothing bad to say about us. Also, in Exodus chapter 23, verse, verses 1 through 2, it says, Do not spread false reports. Do not help a guilty person by being, malicious, by being a malicious witness. Do not follow the crowd by doing wrong. When you give testimony in a lawsuit, do not pervert justice by siding with the crowd. Do not follow bad role models, but follow the good ones and be a good role model as well. I talked to you before about Eminem, that, that rapper guy. <laughs> I told you that he is a role model for many young adults. And as parents, you guys out there, young adults, they look up to you, whether you like it or not. As a young adult, you need to choose good role models for yourself to help to help you become a bold Christian. Part of being and becoming a bold young adult Christian is being a good role model for other Christians. I know myself, I have four siblings. Of course, one's older than me, but I'm more responsible. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be good role models for them. <laughs> no, matter, no matter the age, you can be a role model for your grandma or your uncles or just your peers but also know the difference between right and wrong. Make the right decisions that help you in being a bold teenage Christian. To finish this up, spreading God's word is the biggest part of being and becoming a bold Christian. When Jesus was still a young adult, he was already teaching our Father's word. Now, I am not saying to go out and force our love for Christ on everyone. For example, I have two friends. One is atheist, meaning he does not believe in anything. My other friend is agnostic, meaning he believes there is a higher power, but he's not sure what to believe. I have tried to teach these two about God's word, but now I look back and I realize that I have no respect for their beliefs.
See, all these points tie in. It goes back to the respect and the forgiveness and praying. These five main points are what I want everyone, everyone, not just young adults to walk out of here with. Having respect for everyone, having a strong faith, being able to forgive, pray, and then pray some more, being a good role model, and spreading God's word. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm asking you to help each and every one of us here today in becoming and being a, being a bold Christian, whether we are a man, a woman, or a young adult. Amen.